Is this heaven? No, it's a podcast. Welcome to the Field of Geeks podcast. to episode 133 of the Field of Geeks podcast. I'm Josh. Steve. Megan. Joey. You sound like we're all robots. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Uh, I don't know why I went deeper. Hello. <laughs> I am a robot. All the robots you hear on TV sound like this. I'm Megan. Whoa. What? Megan Tron. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. Oh, geez. So anything new to share with the, the listeners? That's my uh, first episode summer? back since yeah. Mine too. 800 yeah, me years too. ago, it feels like. I know. Wait, well, yours too? Contract yeah. negotiations. Yeah, well. Contract negotiations, yeah. neck surgery, whatever. Yeah. You guys really you call whatever you was on. <laughs> took, took me to the cleaners, but... <laughs> oh, you okay? You're like really deep in thought. Well, I didn't mean to take you to the cleaners. I I'm making 100% hurting. of zero. Uh, yeah, a lot of people do. Play the Hulk music. We all had things and stuff. Dun, 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 right. dun, 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 dun. Oh, wait, Hulk. I thought you meant Hulk Hogan. The, ra- <laughs> the racist one. <laughs> the racist one. Who they just let back in WWE yeah. because uh, three months is a long enough punishment. Yeah. Wait, or three years. Can he even do anything anymore? What do you no, mean? he's like, a spokesperson. He's old? Yeah. He gets a pop uh, from the crowd. So. Yeah, he like came out at WrestleMania and was like, let me tell you something, brother. Oh, God. He's like, I only like white people. <laughs> <laughs> I like to give him crap because like people are so like forgiving of him. And it's like, oh, but he's not a good person. Well, he needs the money, poor guy, because his wife. Just... N- uh, I don't know if he needs Wait, his the wife money. Did what? Well, she got a lot of <laughs> money from. Well, she did many things, but she got a lot of money from him. So did and she? A divorce. I oh, thought she. Oh, did. that was a while ago, that though. Yeah, it's been a yeah. long time ago. Yeah. I mean, he just got money from the Gawker. Uh, oh, that's case, right. I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, because, like, they're the ones who leaked the tape. Yeah, I don't think it was necessarily him really needing the money as much as it is needing the ego yeah. boost. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course. I concur. Yeah. yeah. I remember that conversation he had with uh, his son after that friend of his was killed in that yeah. horrible accident. And they were basically Murdered. saying he, was, he wasn't he was a good guy. It's like, <laughs> we're going to get you a show, brother. It's like, I'm your son. I know, brother. We're going to get you a show. And then they recorded the conversation, and that show never happened. Hulk knows best. I saw some headline. Um, Hulk Hogan distraught after a 23 and Me test revealed that not everybody was his brother. Yes. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's like The Onion, right? Yeah. yeah. There's so it wasn't The now. Onion. It was another source, yeah, but yeah. it was a similar fake news right. type thing. It was really funny. I mean, it's just The Onion. And then when I see other headlines, I'm like, I know. what? Like, oh, that's got to be something similar. So, Well, we got a lot to catch up on. You know, we've been away for a while. Vacations, all kinds of uh, other other things. Um, I was just summer sleeping. brings us. You're just sleeping. Yeah, hibernating. Mm-hmm. Like a big old bear. There you go. Hey, you. Yes, I'm talking to you. Thanks for listening to Field of Geeks podcast. I'd like to remind you to please check us out on all social media and most streaming and download platforms. Fieldofgeeks.com. Back to the show. So we got a lot of uh, San Diego news to talk about. Oh boy. First up, uh, Marvel Studios. They released their lineup. And I'm just going to go, there's so much to talk about, so forgive us if we don't talk about everything. Mm-hmm. Black Widow, obviously. Or don't forgive us. Who cares? Okay. <laughs> you, you hear it from Joey. Yeah, it depends on how forgiving they feel, I yeah. guess. Yeah. If you want to forgive us, great. But if not, <laughs> if they don't, get I'll over probably yourself. probably still sleep tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Black Widow is on there, which we, we know that's, that's happening. And that great cast, David Harbour is going to be in it. That's fantastic. So she's still alive, confirmed. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> Well, that's my thing. It, Isn't it set what, in the I past? I was say what part of the universe or what part of the... Well, universe? this is phase four, right? So, <laughs> this phase So, four... of course, they're going to go back yeah. to the past. Yeah. If they go back exactly. to the past in, in a phase four film, wouldn't it be basically another phase? You know, if it's a prequel. That's yeah. why I'm thinking it's a current phase of future past. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag... Get a patent for that. They're just gonna say that. They're just gonna be like, "Yeah, that's a thing," and people, are like, that's gonna make that doesn't make any sense. Hawkeye series announced. I think we knew that was coming. That's cool. Yeah, good for Renner, and I think his daughter might be 
a side character or I don't, something. I don't care. I don't know either. These are all Disney Plus shows that I'm not going to pay $15 to watch. Really? Well, that's if you... Don't you but bundle it, it with something yeah, else? It's no. Bundled, yes. It's bundled for like $13. Hulu and ESPN. Mm-hmm. And... Get yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you're right. ESPN and Hulu. Sorry. So and I, Disney. I, and I, Disney and Plus. Disney. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, and it's the same price as Netflix. I just read an article on this the other day. And then HBO Max, they, they're having a big bundle, too. I mean, you're not going to see those shows on that. But hey, that's... but wasn't it like how many years ago that they, when the whole net neutrality thing came out and they were talking about, if if this happens, if we let people do this, they're going to go yeah. off and bundle everything up and mm-hmm. say, you can pay $15 for this, and you get this, and then you can pay $12 for this, and you get this. Well, it's like the new Cable Wars, too. I mean, like... It's pretty much becoming cable in a yeah. way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know I just signed up for the Hulu Live Hulu. Ooh, I didn't even know that. So basically, it replaces your cable. It's got like a shit ton of channels. Oh, sweet. Wow. Um, and you know you can still you can sign up for like ad free. Some though, some of the actual networks aren't ad free. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, some some do it. Usually on the playback, they'll do it. But uh, yeah, it's a nice replacement for cable. Mm-hmm. Is it I mean, mostly advertisement for their other shows, or is it just like a generic ad? It's both. Okay. Um, and then Good the, for the internet world, though. Word. Mm-hmm. And um, <laughs> if you didn't have internet, you're getting it now. <laughs> it has all, all the local channels, I think, except for Channel 13. So okay. it's got local channels too. But that's sweet. Huh. Channel yeah. Five on there. Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. Is it coming good? <laughs> Huh? Is Channel Five coming? Good? Uh, I, I guess I never don't really does. watch live TV anyway. Still, <laughs> I, just, I never watch Channel Five. <laughs> I wouldn't blame you. Uh, since she number Humphreys moved away, I don't watch Channel Five anymore. <laughs> Where'd uh, she go? Uh, Philadelphia. I don't watch Channel Five, and I work there. So I don't watch the news. You work at Channel Five? Mm-hmm. I don't watch the news. He's a reporter. No, no he's not. Well, if you he's were, lead why anchor, you, he, he's no, the lead not. anchor at uh, five o'clock. That That's why we're man. number three, baby. Yeah. <laughs> All me. <laughs> Hold on, back up. Why did you immediately like? No, he's not. He's not a reporter. Yeah, where's that coming yeah, from? Yeah, jeez, I can't be a reporter. You could be a reporter. I mean, I just don't see very many reporter reporters. Reportals. <laughs> that much facial hair but it's totally fine well changing the game okay puts in the game. ponytail or yeah what is, he, what he they, gets all the hipster assignments I, just mm-hmm. say, what they call I go to the vape shops the vegan the East village the vegan yeah. uh, uh <laughs> restaurants all that stuff you like vegan coffee come on down so, i use a i use a stage name i'm chad <laughs> there's no last name oh no just chad just chad <laughs> just chad yeah, no, that's what it says. Just Chad. Just, just Chad. Chad. Just Chad. <laughs> nice. I think what were you talking about? Called just Chad. Black Widow. Black Widow. Sorry. Are we talking about that? No, it's yeah. fine. It's fine. It's all good. Prequel, not prequel. You know, yeah, they're going to go to Budapest because like... Budapest, that's always... where everything happens. What? what? That's where everything happens. Right. Budapest. Well, and that's what I mean, like, because her and uh, Hawkeye always, like, mention it. And people are like, what does that mean? I don't think they should ever... Show us, because everyone's got their own... Well, I, I was going to say, do you think it's going to be stu- some stupid, like, uh, Nick Fury. when Nick Fury lost his eye? Be like, remember Budapest yeah, when you stubbed exactly. your toe? And they got to credits? It's the stupidest scene in the world. Yeah, it's just it's them awful. flying over Budapest. <laughs> Look at Budapest. High <laughs> <laughs> five. It's just like Budapest. Yeah, when we just flew over it and just, like, didn't care about it. Oh, it was great. <laughs> great. So, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. This looks... Interesting, this title. It's supposed to be the first horror movie in MCU. I think that and Blade are the only ones I'm like really yeah. that excited mm-hmm. about. So the whole multiverse bringing all that up, uh, you know, it was teased in Spider-Man. Yeah. And, and then, then they, they kind of said it was fake. And then they did, oh, screw you guys. Yeah. Well, I think that's, I think a lot of people were probably bummed out, but I never thought, like, that's still a possibility, the multiverse, just because. I, I thought it would be a possibility. I knew that, like, Mysterio was not who he said he was. Yeah. But I was like. There could still be a multiverse, and they're like, "Ah, no, he's just mad at Stark." And it's like, well, okay. Well, well spoilers. This... Do you think he's dead, Mysterio? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't care. Okay. <laughs> what, what about you? That's a very confusing know. movie when I saw that. I was very confused. I was very tired, so I fell asleep during like the final battle, and then I woke up uh, like right when like he was <laughs> oh calling God. off the drones, mm. and I was like, "What's happening?" <laughs> <laughs> you know, I saw it again, so I know what happened. But. What got me was the bar scene when he's revealing everybody. And I like, we don't need the flashbacks. Like, we've seen these movies. Like, yeah. I guess we needed Jill Hall's flashback. And the but... kid from Christmas Story. We needed that. I don't think I needed that, though. But... No, but I wanted to see him because he's from Christmas Story. Yeah, no, I get it. Yeah. So, yeah. And then at the end, my eyes rolled when they're like, Spider Man is. I, I thought that was. Parker, I'm like, what the fuck? What? I thought. I I, okay, that that's where I was like, I'm on board now. I it think that's awesome. interesting. Yeah, I was just like, the... that, Enough that could bring actual stakes to these movies. Mm-hmm. Nothing's there's been no consequences. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. What about uh, they did it in the comics, and there were consequences. You know. You know what? He deserves it. If he's going to rely on Iron Man so much, screw you. You're Peter Parker. <laughs> Spider Man's Peter Parker. Everybody knows. Iron it. Man gave him his villains so far. <laughs> Iron Man's done everything, and he shouldn't have. <laughs> He's not that important of a character. Yeah, before Iron Man was a movie, he wasn't a first tier Marvel character. Mm. B character. I was going to ask about that, yeah. Nobody wasn't. cared. But yeah, he's the one that stomps his foot down. Like, we got to sign these accords, guys. <laughs> and everybody's like, well, he's richer than Batman. Yeah. It's like, you only know that because you, like, watch the movies. Who yeah. cares? Well, didn't they? Didn't you say they, they called him the, was the Stan Lee of the universe or something like that? Who? I thought you said uh, the fans are calling Tony Stark now. The well, like the Godfather yeah, father or whatever. Yeah, like you know, he started the the whole universe. His movie did cool. Yeah, cinematic wise, fine. Mm -hmm. Timeline wise, that, I mean, but, Captain yeah. America was there first, but whatever. Yeah. That's the only time I get annoyed. Is like he makes the messes and he's like, "All right, guys, we gotta clean this stuff up. I know. We gotta knock it off." I'm like, dude, you're still doing this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he just punches like someone in the face. He's like, "See, that's bad." Yeah. <laughs> this is what I you're not supposed that. to yeah. do. <laughs> I have an epiphany this film. The next film, I won't. And I'll go back to my And he blows place. up all his suits in Iron Man 3, and then he's like, I'll just make more of Iron Man. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what about Jameson? Did you like his actual look? With no, that was dumb. Yeah, I thought that was stupid. The look like wasn't the bad. Look. I'm, just, I'm glad it was him, yeah, the actor. Yeah, I but I'm, on, I'm on the other end. I, if it would have been like the same look, but like a different actor, because if they're trying to separate themselves from mm -hmm. the past movies so much, yeah. get a different actor. Right. Like, there are plenty of people who can, you know, Sure, there's a lot of them with like, the regular hair and kept the same actor that would yeah. be cool you know mm -hmm. but, i thought yeah. the podcast thing was pretty interesting because it's like yeah in today's world like there probably wouldn't be a newspaper it's kind of like an right. info wars type of spin off. yeah he's very alex jones yeah yeah <laughs> so uh yeah what do you think about the the first horror film i know we have blade coming so you think do you think they'll really get into that like or that will they kind of sugarcoat it a little bit the horror um i think it's just a sound bite, maybe. Yeah, I'll, I'll, give the, film. yeah I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Like, I, yeah. I think they can do it well. Shazam showed, you know, I mean, that's DC, I know. But they showed you can do, like, magic and horror. Mm -hmm. But also make it, like, you know, okay for everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I think they could do it pretty well. Just because it's, who's, is it the same director? I I don't recall. Okay. I, I almost want to say it's a different director. but oh, okay. Just because, like, well, unless they want to try something new from the first one. Right. First one has some cool elements, I think. that I think that was, like, the strongest movie in that phase. And yet, it's a lot the of people that, <laughs> don't think, so, you know, it well, like it's, it anyway. Yeah, because it's, you know, mm -hmm. it's not as, it doesn't have, you know, all the jokes and whatever. And then, of course, Thor, Love and Thunder. Or <laughs> Thor coming. And then Portman comes out, which that was shocking to me, because, well, I know if they're going to go for a female Thor, Jane Foster, I think, is the best choice and it might be the only choice given the comics um but yeah so she came out and i think all of us kind of maybe could tell she's maybe not yeah not excited about from the, from the picture <laughs> she's very she's like holding the hammer she's like Ooh. she's holding it like it's like a dead fish she's like <laughs> yeah like, mm. oh i gotta put that on the cover <laughs> yeah she's like mm. like it actually has a smell attached to it yeah, yeah she's like where's the trash can yeah. Yeah. At times, look heavier than her. Yeah. Kind of yeah. Right. <laughs> that but yeah. No. Mad, well, and I felt bad because, like, okay, I didn't like Ragnarok, and yeah. like, but I do like Taika Waititi because, like, I like like you know what mm -hmm. we do in the shadows. Like his stuff is pretty good. Yeah. I just don't think it felt it fit him, and that movie didn't fit the character. But like, he was really into like this announcement and everything, and he announced you know Natalie Portman's coming on to be the Mighty Thor. He got, like, down on one knee, like, presented mm -hmm. her Mjolnir. I was like, he's really into it. And she's very, like, ugh, Hi, nerd. Can I ask why no? she takes a step out of all of these movies where she probably could have had a small role, mm -hmm. and now she's going to come back in? Is it because they're doing, one, just might question that because they're doing so well that, like, maybe she's trying to get back in? Maybe. I don't know. Well, maybe. well, also, she's going to be the lead. Right. Yeah, need, She'll probably get top star billing. Power. Well, maybe not. You think Hemsworth is it the took same it? reason that get Gwyneth Paltrow took a, a step back for a little bit? Because remember, she kind of yeah, it might have been a contract back. thing, like yeah. paying some more money, you yeah. know? Because she didn't even know she was in Spider Man. Did you ever see that uh, the Chef show? She, yeah, uh, yeah. Like you were in Spider Man. Well, that role told her. granted, her role was like you know two oh, yeah, minutes. I know, yeah. I know, yeah. I know. Yeah. The way they shoot things, like they yeah. can't really. She tell probably thought everything. it was you know was told it was an Avengers movie or something. Like I don't Tom know. Holland, they supposedly told him there was a wedding scene when he did the Tony Stark. Right. You know? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. So that's because he can't keep his mouth shut. Uh, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's so funny. Also, that's a gimmick. I'm pretty sure. You think so? Him spoiling stuff. Yeah. 
has to be. It, it's well, I very. So too. I think it after like started off as maybe a mistake. And maybe then once, built off of and it. they're like, "That's yeah. great. That's good. Let's keep doing. Let's that. run with that. Yeah. That yeah. got a lot of traction. Yeah, I could see that. Okay, That's fine. testing well with our Kill Midwest all market. Of my dreams today, please. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll have um, what's his face Here plays Falcon make fun of you. Yeah. you guys are like oh it's fake it's fake fake news the source material is kind of dark I would say she's battling cancer mm. and basically is every- cancer the super villain <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, like a, a living embodiment. Yeah, right. it's the crab. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So in the comics, she gets chemotherapy, obviously, and then when she becomes Thor, it drains that chemo out of her body. Chemotherapy. chemotherapy. There you go. <laughs> oh my god. god. <laughs> what? I'm not making. A, I'm not making fun of chemo. You better. Uh, I'm making a point. That too. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. So my question, Marvel, is, if you're listening, I know you are. You got eyes everywhere. Do you think they'll tackle this at all? They want to tackle Give her cancer and all that. I mean, oh, um. I don't know. I mean, Disney with Doctor character. Strange, they She'll like hair and stuff. they did the whole car crash and like yeah. you know mm-hmm. recovery from that. So mm-hmm. if they're doing the origin right, then I think so. They should. I mean, I think they'll do it. Well, but Deadpool also, like, will be a Disney movie. They're tracking and... history. They're tracking history. It's like uh, I don't know. What about the mask? Will they give her a mask because she yeah she's gonna be the smoking. <laughs> Not that mask. Oh oh. Hey reboot. No reboot. Never mind. Talk <laughs> <about> <laughs> his eyes come out. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if she'll have the um, helmet that they wore that the um, yeah. female Thor wears in the comics, and then she'll I take it off after two minutes. Cool. Right? Like I need to show my face. Yeah, because the lead actors need to show their face all the time. Mm-hmm. Right. Of course. That's not a stab at. That's not a jab at uh, Natalie Portman. All the actors do that. That's why Iron Man had, like didn't wear the suit in the third one. And Jennifer Lawrence changed up her. Oh hair. gosh, yes. For she X-Men. did what? X Men. Yeah, she's like, I don't want to do the makeup thing. <laughs> okay. Sure. Well. I get that because it's grueling. Like, you have to sit there for four hours and have your entire body painted every day. I'm like, yeah, okay, I understand. Yeah, but Dave <laughs> Batista. I do it all the time. <laughs> if Dave Batista came in volume three, he's like, I don't It's like want Arrested Development. Up. I just blew myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I blew myself earlier. But, no, I don't know. Uh, it's Arrested Development. He paints himself yeah, blue. Yeah, sure. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, uh-huh. yeah, it's great. <laughs> So yeah, I don't know if they tackle that or not. Like I, I kind of wish they would have kept Thor's um, wings, you know, because that's kind of yeah, iconic. Cool. But yeah. like the first movie he wore it at the beginning, mm-hmm. and he's like, "See you later." He's like, "Ooh, it's itchy." Yeah. But like going back to Ragnarok, the only thing I think if they would have had some serious moments spliced throughout that film, I think it would have been much better. Mm-hmm. And the Warriors Three, the way they just they're like bye, Gone. Yeah. yeah, it just was stupid. Like why even bring the actors on? Oh, hey Zach Levi. Oh. Yeah, I think Zach Levi said, uh, Zach ah! that's all he said, <laughs> and he got stabbed they were, and killed. They were like, Zach, leave, die. <laughs> and then he's like, what? And then they killed him. <laughs> Where's my dialogue? Oh, we cut that. So now he's just... They're like, oh, speaking of dialogue, you die. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Sith, she's still possibly around, right? Uh-huh. She is around. Oh, yeah. Is, yeah. Uh, what's her name? From, uh... I don't remember. I don't... Who cares? The Tattoo Show. Sure. That's a good show, by the way. Is yeah. it? What's it called? Um, <laughs> I wasn't. I honestly wasn't trying to like put you on the spot. I no, I, I don't remember the name. Um, yeah. I have seen. I saw the whole first season. Um, she was naked in it. Inked? <laughs> no, it wasn't inked. Um, I just made that up. I don't know. Is inked a real show? Yeah, it's yeah, it's like a tattoo a show. Tattoo masters. Okay. Tattoo masters. You know, she's in that show that I like that I can't remember the name of. World Series of Poker. Well, she's busy with that, so who knows if she'll... I don't know. Would have been cool if she was Thor, but whatever. <laughs> she's not pretty salty about it. She would have been cool, but whatever. because well, I think she would give a shit more, you know? Yeah. Portman's just kind of like, I'm an actress. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Just I'm Oscar like winner. Too. Yeah, I'm Oscar winner. <laughs> it's the first line in the film. Like, this just doesn't I'm an actress. Blind spot. Ah. There you go. Jamie Alexander. With, uh, yes. Ooh, is that Sandra her? Bullock. Mm-hmm. The football movie. What channel can we yeah. tune in to watch that gem? Blazing um, hot. Mm-hmm. She is. Just do her and Natalie side by side and let the fans pick. Well, what, what? I would, I would. Oh, wait, what did you say? <laughs> Who are we talking about? We all immediately, we're in a triangle. We immediately, uh, well, yeah, yeah, what? <laughs> You've got my attention. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, God. Gentlemen. <laughs> so, Blade, Mahershala Ali. That's, yeah. That's great casting, I think. That's really good casting. Okay. Well, I just don't. 
make it rated R. Go balls out and just like make it rated R. We don't need a PG thirteen blade because it's going to be dumb. Mm-hmm. Do you think that if, if they did a PG thirteen, <clears throat> if they went back to Blade's origins before the nice leather outfit when he had the like, the bright colorful costume, do you think they might go that route? Not the snipes. Um, because snipes that was a time know. when they were afraid. To I just want to. I don't want to get too excited about this movie. Mm-hmm. Well, it's, not it's, because I have so much stake in the other ones. Phase. It's Wait, like do you next feel like phase. You're going to be disappointed. Huh? Do you feel like you're going to be disappointed? I'm always disappointed in everything I do and everything that happens ever. Oh, so. <laughs> wow, that. Um... Hey, let's keep people happy, man. Dun, 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 dun. Um, no. Need a violinist to follow him around. Okay. <laughs> 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 a rock violinist. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah get uh, the, um, the girl who does the Wonder Woman theme. Get her. Oh, yeah. She's great. <laughs> um, Full orchestra. <laughs> Yeah, well, she was doing like an electric cello or something. Ooh, like she nice. was teasing the yeah. Wonder Woman '84 mm-hmm. uh, theme. I'm like, this is gonna be bonkers. I can't wait. Um, what are we talking about? <laughs> uh, oh, Blade. Blade. Yeah, it's not even like that. I have so much stake in the old ones either. It's just like, what are you doing? I'm, I'm, you playing violin? <laughs> That's not how you play it. Hey, for the budget, is all we can get. Just oh, okay. hair, hair play. <laughs> You look so pissed. No, I'm just, I've got like nine things I want to say, but <laughs> I'm not going to say it mm-hmm. for an editing. Mitch, this is how you edit yourself. <laughs> it's called a filter. It's called a filter. Um. Anyways. R.I.P. And so it's the same thing I'm worried about, like with Deadpool. Mm-hmm. Not that I'm like in love, so in love with that character either. Cause like the first one was great. Second one was whatever. Uh, But like, I feel like Disney is going to go the route of PG-13 and it's like. It's not that it needs to be rated R, but, like, if it's PG-13, I feel like they're going to hold back. And it's going to feel like they're pulling their punches a little. Mm-hmm. So, I don't know. That's just me. I am I am excited that he's in it, though. And, like, I love Mahershala Ali. It did piss me off a bit when they were like, oh, yeah, but he was already a villain in uh, Luke Cage. And they were like, oh, yeah, those aren't part of the universe anymore. I'm like, oh, well, what was the point? All that world building, character development. Yeah. We'll just recast. So, I was like, <sighs> Not whatever. have that again. But, um... No, it was pretty cool, like, because the story came out a couple days later that he, like, w- I think right after he won the Oscar uh, this year, he called Kevin Feige and was like, I want to be in the movie. I want to be in a movie. I think, And I think he said Blade. Um, but people are like, oh, he's using his Oscar clout. And I'm like, he's using his resume as yeah. a, good actor, a good actor, you yeah. dumbass. Yeah. And he's, and a lot of dumb are, opinions out there. People are attached to Snipes, like... Uh, to me, he looks like Snipes a little bit. Well, you know what? Snipes can uh, just go. Well, no, there's... he can leave. He beat Halle Berry so bad. What? That she... Yeah, I didn't know this either. There's he beat her so that he she lost like eighty percent of hearing in her one of her ears. What? Yeah, I didn't know anything about I that. I I, that I didn't know that. Either. I read about I read about it. I read about like just the shitty stuff that he did and like on set stuff. Like there was one scene he went and opened his eyes for like a take, so they they like CGI'd. Go back and watch it. There's a scene where, like, they CGI his eyes open because he was, like, so mad that he was, like, just sitting there one day. He's like... Well, I've heard the Patton Oswalt story about Trinity, how he yeah, was, yeah. like, smoking weed all the time. Yeah, there's that he one, too. He had to talk to him as Blade. <laughs> he mm-hmm. was so pissed on the set. Uh, well, there was rumors about him coming back to Blade, and I was like, that can't be. He's just too old, and d- they're going to go a different route. They're not going to yeah. honor he what he really did. He really beat her? That's that's what I read. I mean, it it is the internet. There's a fifty percent chance it's not true. It just seems like and I, I made sure it wasn't the Onion or uh, whatever else. Yeah, websites are sour too. It's all out there on Front Street. Mm-hmm. Do you think they'll go with the Snipes look for Blade or they try to honor the comics? Because the comics, he had like a bright. I think they'll go with the Snipes look. You think? Yeah. Yeah, probably because probably it's so iconic. Because how people know the character, really, yeah. right? And they stay away from the bright colored stuff as much as they can. Mm-hmm. Everything's muted. Right. I agree. That would be interesting. I, I think it's great casting. So that, that was a highlight towards the end. I didn't watch the whole thing. Sorry for being so negative. It's just... No, you're fine. Nobody thinks you're negative. Hey, you hear the truth from us. Yeah. Right? No. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> what is the truth? <laughs> <laughs> How's court work? How does court work? How does court work? Guilty. <laughs> Speaking of beatings, uh, Halloween oh two and my three. God. <laughs> <laughs> beating, beating the dead like horse. It. Yeah, they're gonna film back to back, so you're gonna get one in twenty and twenty twenty one. What do you guys? I haven't seen the remake. I'm sure it's great. I did. Jamie Lee's gonna die, either in the second or third one. I bet. I'm. Are guess- you excited about two more coming or in the back to back filming? Okay, I am. 
Can I, you imagine where they could go? Or is it? I mean, does it seem I know like where I want to them to go. That? The yeah. future. I just the future. want them to Michael X or whatever. The carnage. I mean, I don't see those movies for great plots. Mm-hmm. I see them for the fun of you know how do they stop them? Mm-hmm. Right. Well, and watching like this remake, it reminded me so much of like the seventies, like the original yeah. like you know slasher movies, not like the remakes from like yeah. what the two thousands that were just like murderous rampage. I was they like, were like this screen is, knockoffs. I was like, this is gross. I don't want to watch these. But and they had some smart points in that reboot of Halloween where they discussed like the randomization of his victims and, and that sort of thing. Yeah. Kind of stuff you don't really mm. hear about in a movie or they don't really apply that kind of psychology. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, I, I found that, that to be... Because I never saw the original Halloween films ever. Oh, really? I Not even the first one? Nope. Wow. I watched the first one and that is... <laughs> It's fine, but it's not scary. For its time, it, though, it was very scary. It's like the original time. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, I've never seen that. I've never oh, seen that funny. one. Yeah. Is it funny? Nice. I mean, because it's just so like, I think we've talked about this on a podcast before, but it's predictable mm-hmm. what's going to happen. And then it, you it's know, only it's that way because and... everyone's adapted to that, you yeah. know, mm-hmm. and the more extreme versions of that. Like back then, that was like never seen on screen like yeah someone died i think watching that film like they had a heart attack at least and that's a big reason why i don't watch horror movies because i'll probably die i don't think they can you know anymore like even uh like friends i i know that are big horror fans nothing really impresses them you know even this last halloween they liked it but they're like it wasn't that scary it's like it's because you've seen every damn yeah. thing mm-hmm. you're not gonna be unless it's like real life you're not gonna <laughs> be yeah. scared yeah yeah, it'll be interesting because uh, I think they also took out this whole supernatural part of him, except from what I heard, the ending of this last one, to escape that, that would have to be some kind of... Oh, the house? Yeah, more powerful thing at play, or mm-hmm. I don't know. So, you think, you're pretty confident these two movies won't be, like, too much, or... Yeah, or maybe they'll, maybe they'll be a part one and part two, like, Just, story. Like an I, know, I know that this is too much to hope for, because, like... I mean, like, movie companies like to, you know, kick that horse. A whole like, extensive universe you're talking just about? Just, like, don't... Just, like, I want them to end it with these two. Like, just mm-hmm. no more. Yeah. Just let it be what it is. Jamie Lee Curtis came back. She yeah. did the whole thing. Maybe you kill her off. If you want to do it that again, give it, it 20 years, 30 years, and then, you know, when we're all dead. And yeah, well, yeah, everybody dies yeah. off and be like, oh, remember these? You all don't? Right. Well, here they are. Yeah. Well, the original idea, I think, from Carpenter was... Once Disney owns Halloween. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. he will have a smile on his mask. like uh... Starring T and Tamara Maori or whatever their names are. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You like the Descendants. Well, we that was a weird pull. This film. <laughs> that was a weird pull. Didn't they do some Halloween movie? Boy Meets Michael. No. For Disney? Mm-mm. No, but there is... Uh, what is that one movie um, that everyone loves? Hocus Pocus or something? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, he's like... been talking about making a sequel to that. Yeah. yeah. Joey has. Oh. Mm-hmm. Not me. I was going to do it. I was going to be all three witches. The Sanderson sisters. Yeah, that would be interesting. Parker. Thank you. Yeah. Like, I look like a horse? <laughs> I didn't know what I thought you were going to say I looked like the fat one. I was like, I would be on the... I would be to me, know, understanding the that one. That's what reminds me. Did you get me. that meme too, then? That horse she looks like a horse. Yeah. Yeah. I know the internet. I've <laughs> been around. I know the internet. That's what we are acquainted. <laughs> I'm aware of the yeah. internet. <laughs> we are initiated. Um, we are initiated. CW. What's in your cup? Aren't we um, it's Vodka tonic. Hold the tonic. No. <laughs> That's new it's, Coke. It's coffee. Coffee. Mm-hmm. So CW, the... Uh, they're going to have their Crisis on Infinite Earths. This is their crossover event. Uh, a lot of casting news. <laughs> Sorry, can you repeat? Christ, what? Crisis of Infinite <laughs> Earths. I didn't want to say anything, but oh. it, it did sound like you stroked out a little bit. I was like, Probably. what did you say? <laughs> Crisis of Infinite Earths. Yes. <laughs> okay. So CW, they have a crossover. And what that crossover is called? Crisis on Infinite Earth. Yeah! <laughs> That's, I didn't say anything. It was yeah, it was Megan. That's all, all my energy I right there. I didn't understand what yeah, you said. I'm tapped out. <laughs> Maybe I had a stroke. I don't know. Um, so big casting announcement, sort of. I mean, Brandon Roth, always he's a part of this universe, and he's really? going to be the Kingdom Come mm-hmm. Superman, correct? Mm-hmm. Which, uh, what do you guys know? What makes that? He's old as shit. <laughs> <laughs> but no, he's he's. I mean, he's from the Kingdom Come uh, comic series, or is it a graphic novel? Are they more violent. 
versions of the characters, something like that. I, I mean, they're just old and withered, right? really. Like yeah. Batman's, you know, in a neck brace, um, yeah. and like he has like a bat, uh, like robot army that kind of like does his uh, okay. like justice thing. I, I I still need to read it. That reminds me though, because Kevin Conroy is gonna be Batman, mm-hmm. and in the back, I think that's actual art. Is he gonna be Batman or is he gonna be old Bruce, Bruce Wayne. Wayne? Old Bruce Wayne, I think. Yeah. Is that how they said it? I don't yeah. Know. I mean, that's just... I mean, because he's not... Uh, technically, he is just old Bruce Wayne because he's not Batman anymore. When you said the robot thing, there's a suit in the background, this artwork, and it kind of looks robotic in a way. It kind of looks like the Beyond suit, but I'm wondering if that's artwork. the same... Yeah, they released some artwork of him sitting in the chair with the... Oh, that was just fan art. Are you sure? Because every site it was fan shared art. it. All right, well... I mean, people... Search... It looked good. So many, shi- so many sh- shites that actually does fit. <laughs> See, it's not just me. That actually fits. <laughs> because a lot of those sites Shite. share these, like... like uh, I don't know. Like, John Hamm replaces... Uh, oh, that's Henry Ca- Hollywood. They do that with everything. It's so... so John Hamm replaces more. Henry Cavill in amazing fan art. And you look at it, and someone's just... Pfft, John Hamm on Henry Cavill's body. Someone and like, did that recently dumb. with Green Lantern. And, yeah. and uh, you know, they were talking about just the headline made it seem like it was the best thing in the world. Yeah. And it looked blisteringly stupid. Yeah. yeah. It's like uh, someone um, uh, deep faked uh, Christopher Reeve onto um, oh, yeah. like the yeah, Superman scene at the mm-hmm. end of Justice League. And they're like, it looks amazing. And I watched it. I was like, this looks stupid. Those like, are this trying looks to get are, really bad. Are they called like right clicks or something like that? Where they Clickbait? T- no, no, no. It's actually a, like a site on YouTube where they've done this a lot with Christian Bale lately and Tom Cruise. Like they they put Tom Cruise into uh, American Psycho, and it looks it deep doesn't fake. sound like him because it's all the dialogue from Bale. Deep fake. It's right. De- it's deep fake. That's really impressive. Like it's scary good. Yeah. Like it's just, Jim Carrey. It's kind of uh, like Shining. Like it's just kind of like it got off to a bad start because people are using it for like yeah, I know. You know, porn and stuff. Corn. Corn. They're using it for corn. Corn Corn Yeah. <laughs> Corno. Um, well, someone someone put uh, Bill Hader was on Conan doing a, an Arnold Schwarzenegger impression. They and did they Al put, Pacino of him too, yeah. Well, they put Arnold Schwarzenegger's face on yeah. him and he was like doing these impressions. I was like, this is hilarious. It's so creepy too, though. Yeah. His, his face will just change. Well, and that's why that I someone... The name. Huh? Deep fake. Deep fake. You <laughs> did it though. No, well, no, they, it's in. That's the name of the show. It's facts. We deliver the facts, people. That's the channel. Five. We deliver the fat people. <laughs> we deliver the fat people. <laughs> Punch you in the face. So Brute Ward's gonna be part of this. Hold cast. on, they're they're having a little laugh, <laughs> little tiff. Just <laughs> so Brute Ward, I don't know if he'll play like an older Robin or not. Uh, yeah, he's gonna be busting out of the suit. He's gonna be like, try my dog food. Hey, we we buy his dog food. Good for you. Good shit. It's actual, it. it's actual <laughs> shit. Yeah, it's Burt Ward. Eat Jesus. up. <laughs> what do you think about that? Are you excited about Burt Ward being a part of it? I don't know how they would put him in. Um, I'm interested to see it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's gonna be Robin. Well, they just a bank face over someone young body doing all. I don't think that's what it, I think they're gonna. I mean, I think they'll respect his age and yeah. and, and do that appropriately. But you know, I'm excited to see what. What they do with it? They'll, have, they'll have old. They'll have old uh, Bruce Wayne, Kevin Conroy. Just like they'll see. He'll see him. And he'd be like, "You fat piece of shit." He's like, <laughs> <laughs> "Alfred, you play Alfred." There you go. No. Burt Ward plays <laughs> Alfred. <laughs> oh, with a British He's so accent. Ugly. Who? Oh, that was rude. Not back then though, you didn't have to say that. Sorry. He is. Though. <laughs> <laughs> Make me feel bad about it. No, no, that was the that was the joke. <laughs> Make you feel bad, and then I just say the the exact same thing. Well, he's no Chris O'Donnell. He didn't have the nips in the suit or anything. That's so. true. He wasn't yeah. Nightwing. Oh, what if he was? They should do a comic version of that. A Batman Robin. Rob that Robin as Nightwing, the version of Burt Nightwing. Ward becoming Nightwing. Yeah, something like that. The yeah. Burt Ward Robin sounds like a documentary or something. <laughs> um, maybe the Batman sixty six. That'd be yeah, an that's interesting I mean. comic series to explore or something like that. Yeah, like I'm trying to salvage this as best. I know, I, can. I know, I know. Uh, but the other rumor is Mark Hamill may play Joker, which I think that's just great. a rumor. I know it'd be fine. He already what played. If Joe? No, he already played the trickster. Marvel's what if Joe? If that was what Joe. if Joe? If that was true. Would you be cool with him playing Joker? Mark Hamill playing Joker? Yeah, he does the voice. He voices Joker yeah. in like everything. But like physically playing the Joker? Are you just out to like no, just jab I'm at try- everybody's appearance no, today? No. <sighs> no, it has nothing to do with his appearance. I was more thinking of his acting. 
Like his physical <laughs> acting, you not like his, his acting? voice acting. You didn't like him drinking the tip milk in The Last Jedi? Good lord. <laughs> what? That's what happened. I'm trying to envision it. Are you saying he's not a good actor? I mean... <gasps> he's I'm, Luke I'm Skywalker. Saying, yeah, we didn't have him on. And he, he was going to Toshi Station for power converters. <laughs> I don't think I've seen him play anything other than that role, though, because you know that there are actors who are really good at just that role. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I haven't seen well, him. Well, I've heard. Out. So I've heard when like Kevin Connor was talking about being in the studio with him, whenever he was like, mm-hmm. you know, doing the Joker voice, he would like he would like have to get into it because he's yeah. so eccentric and yeah. like he has yeah. to feel that character. So yeah, I think it could be fine, but also like I don't need to see it because it's like I feel like they're just doing too much. It's like ah, maybe just tell the story. Because like when they brought back uh, last year, John Wesley. Oh, no, that was such a terrible. Tease. John Wesley Snipes. Um, like, John Wesley Snipes. <laughs> I know it's shit, but I'd <laughs> run, he run on play on words. It's the worst amalgamation of actors <laughs> in the history. <laughs> well, so they brought him back as like in the '90s flash scene so and everything. Excited too. He was there for two minutes. And you I'm think like, it was two minutes? Maybe less. Yeah, it was really dumb. I was he, like, oh, this he was is like, awesome. Snap, well, he's gone. Well, yeah, he was like, he was like. Here we go, team. And he like charged at the um the what's the name anti monitor or something. Yeah. And he snapped him away. I'm like, what? Okay, <laughs> that was dumb. So I don't know. I hope it's nothing like, but I can see them not spending too much time with like you know old Bruce Wayne or Fat Burt Ward or. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably not even that bad. I'm just giving. Him... Uh, uh, oh, okay. I don't know. I haven't seen. Unless him. he's a, unless he's training really hard right now. For that two We're sorry, Bert Ward. We're sorry, Bert Ward. We love you. He's just gonna walk across the. Megan's shot. the one who doesn't like you. I yeah. just feel like he's fat. Well, we talked about this last night. Like I, I didn't watch any of the CWs last year. I just watched the the crossover event. Mm-hmm. I don't think the writing's that good for them. They like it's eye candy, but I, I don't like the writing. That's what yep. I'm afraid of. It's just weak. Why I don't get into those shows. Yeah, yeah it's I'm. Just, I'm, I'm kind of the like the villain looks silly to me, and just the dialogue. I just like this is just. I'm kind of in it for dumb. just obligation now. Like yeah. last, I guess last year's Arrow season of Arrow was pretty decent. Yeah. Um, but like I said, oh boy, God. is that now? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. But like I said, like last night, a um, body suit. I think Can Legends I of Tom. <laughs> looking at. <laughs> I know I just started working out. Now I feel like a. Ugh. Um, so now you understand. <laughs> yeah, ah! I'm with you. Okay. Um, yes, I got someone in my corner. I concur. I'm not not with you. It was just yeah. Until you, you were picking on a lot person. of people. Oh hi, Mr. Ward. I'm your biggest fan. Um, it's okay. I could debate that, but I'm not going to. <laughs> um, but like I was saying, Legends of Tomorrow and Black Lightning are probably the only things that feel like fresh. Not like, formulaic so much. Yeah. Like, yeah. have you seen Black Lightning? Anybody? Yeah. Um, it's pretty dark, isn't it? It's kind of, it's it's pretty dark, and it's, like, also, like, really just well-written. Yeah. Because it's it's set so far away from, like... Right, they're the not even the, the same Earth, right? Right, it's I think, like, right. And, like, I think, like, maybe it's the same producer, mm-hmm. but, like, I don't think anybody else has the same job as, like, the other... It just, I don't know, it feels different, it feels... And, like, the uh, seasons are shorter by a few episodes, so it's, like... Keep going. What are you? What are you looking at? They burnt warding. Yeah. Down, they're texting awesome. each other over there. No, I'm not about... touching my phone at all. <laughs> I just had a question about something. Yes. Uh, okay, fine. Oh, I was, sweetie. I was just wondering if Deep Face had like any correlation to Deep Throat. Is that why they called it Deep Face? Deep Fake and uh, deep no. Fake. What's the timestamp on this? <laughs> <laughs> I'd write Two hours down. and twenty minutes. No, they just that was in snip the movie. it. Like it was in movie oh. theaters. You know that, right? Deep Throat. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I wasn't. I didn't go. Yeah, well, I wasn't born. They're so in the I'm, movie. They're in the no. movie theaters, like those those kinky movie theaters. No, I think it, it was, was actually wide yeah. released. I, yeah. I, yeah, I know. Which is weird. Well, it was, really? Yeah. Was it the story about deep throat? Deep throat? Yeah. The, was it the story about uh, oh the, the making lace? of? Oh no, no, it wasn't. It was the actual movie. It was right? the actual seventies yeah. oh, porn. And it was like oh okay. The, it was in all the theaters. Oh, I thought I thought it was like the um. The Lovelace, the document, or not the well, the, the guy who's the leaking all the the, well, there the is a, there is government a... secrets or whatever. Oh, Snowden! Oh. No, there was a the in like hell? the seventies. There was a, like a, an entity called Deep Throat that would like oh yeah, leak, yeah, yeah. like government yeah. secrets and yeah. shit like in underground like oh, parking alleys. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Well, it's confusing, but I think they named that guy because of that reason. Like it was <laughs> catchy. I don't know. 
They just saw the movie before they this saw him. This is why him. you should have just ignored us because I was just curious. No, it's a good conversation. <laughs> everybody's everybody's involved. Yes. I was just curious if that if that's what they were going for because it was very popular and it was like first you know, of its Well, kind. they could have yeah. been because they photo they would, you know, put celebrities' faces on like So that's why I was asking the question like It could have been. I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. I just think it's a fake and it's deep. I don't know. Who cares? It's deep. ADD. My mind runs on things. ADD. Like so I'm I'm really excited yeah. to see Brandon back in the Super Bowl suit. <laughs> yeah, go Iowa. To get us back on the path, man. Gotta get it back on that channel. Right? Are we? Channel five. Uh, you're talking about Brandon. Um, yes. Yes. Momoa. No. Oh, Jason. But also Jason from the, Routh and but Brandon also Momoa. From the same town. Um, yeah, yeah, Superman and Aquaman are on the same soccer team. I, uh, well, isn't that sweet? Mm-hmm. Kind of, you know, kind of. When cool. you, but then you think about it, Superman Returns, Superman. You know, you're like, ah. just burst the most amazing people in myself. He in wasn't world. responsible for the crappy no. movie. No, if, if he had better writing, it could have been a better I was movie. Just gonna, that's where I was going. Because I thought he was a good Superman. Yeah, and if he, he actually, was like, punched people and stuff. Yeah, well, and he was, but people like I've said this before, and it's like a dead horse. People are so like, especially now that Henry Cavill's Superman, we've seen like Zack Snyder's like take on it. People mm-hmm. are so like, we need a Christopher Reeve Superman. It's like you got that ten years ago and you didn't <laughs> yeah. show up to the movie theater. Shut up, you didn't yeah. go. It's your fault. Maybe they're ready now. Maybe it was too soon. Doesn't matter. People are stupid. Doesn't. Bus already left. Uh, I'm. I didn't mean to yell. Just, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool. I don't know if they'll recycle that. Is that the heroin though. you brought? Yeah. <laughs> You think they'll give him a whole new suit? Well, yeah, I think they said they couldn't get the other, older one out of archives. <laughs> oh, that's the reason. I didn't know if it was maybe. I, I mean, he because he he, he to took off like... his shirt and he like started. To, no, he took off his shirt and like showed the suit, the Kingdom Come symbol. Superman so. symbol. He did yeah. the Terry Crews. Uh, yeah, the peck pop. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. I think that's gonna be really cool. I think a lot of people wanted him to have another shot at that yeah. part, and he, he he tried for many years and. Someone was saying, like... Uh, save, save our town. Mm-hmm. Give us... I don't know. Save Norwalk? Yeah, I'm just What's saying, wrong with them? Like, Do they have running water? Yes, we have running water. Well, Flint water. doesn't. Well, that is... <laughs> somebody's fault. You looked at me when you said somebody. I didn't do anything. I was in high school when that happened. Maybe. I keep forgetting you're so young. So speaking of heroin, Venom 2. We got some news on that, yes. Joe? Yes. Huh? Venom 2. Yes, Andy Circus. He's a new director, baby. And he's Venom. He's yep. He's gonna no, he's, he's gonna CGI his face on a Tom Hardy's or whatever. <laughs> however he does it, I'll deep fake it. it. Yeah. There you go. Have you? What you say? seen Mowgli, right? <laughs> yeah, the way he did like motion capture. His and direction, stuff. like you think it's gonna be good for this? I think so. Yeah, and I mean, um, I don't know. Just like having someone who's actually excited about, you know, being on the project, and then. Hopefully Sony doesn't like meddle with it because like we saw the pro- the product of that with the first Venom. Mm-hmm. Um, I still thought it was good. It was, I, it was a good movie. I, I enjoyed yeah. it. I, I enjoyed but it. But you could tell that there was a lot cut out. Yeah. It went from, I'm pretty sure it went from an R rating to a PG-13. So. I don't think we talked about if it were R rating, it might have been a little bit better. But the bad yeah. thing is they they messed with it. It made a ton of money. So to them, yeah. they're like, we yeah. know what we're doing. Yeah, we're that's gonna true. we're gonna help this film. That's too. true. Only when it tanks, that's when like, yeah, we we shouldn't have. Done also, it had the last uh, living Stanley cameo, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, what was he in that? I forgot. He was just at the end. Uh, he was walking his dog. Yeah. Okay. I remember. He was like, I remember. <laughs> She's still getting over Stanley. It's okay. He's not coming back. <laughs> Sorry, right, sweetheart. Okay. He was really old. I have a trigger point. Trigger? Yeah. Speaking of trigger, what's our next topic? Did you shoot Stan Lee? No. Oh my gosh. No. <laughs> Joey, you've seen Pennyworth. Tell us about it. Uh, it's pretty good. It's, what's uh, it about? Yeah, it's, just, a, what is that? it's about Alfred Pennyworth, the butler from Batman. Oh. Um, it's like his like starting out. Uh, like, he's a spy. His, yeah, he's a spy. He went with a Michael Caine voice. Which Did he? Perfect, because I like Michael Caine. Yeah, he's not the best Alfred though. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Fight words. He's the best Alfred. That what's the other Jeremy guy's Irons. name? Thank you. Yes. Um, he's the best Alfred to Ben Affleck's best Batman. Um, oh, shit. So. Ben. <laughs> so this has been episode one ninety two or whatever. Bye. I, I've been honestly. I mean, I've been waiting for years and years and years for like a awesome Pennyworth backstory because mm-hmm. they always hint at it in the comics. Have you watched it yet? I oh, haven't okay. yet, but um. 
Yeah, you know, in the comics, he always talked about how he's got a past, mm-hmm. you know, and all that. But they've never really gone deep to explore it much. And they, like, right away, deep, like, dive into, uh, like, he was in the war. Yeah. He was a soldier. He, like, led, uh, you know, a uh, battalion. And, like, a couple guys died on his watch. One guy died of, like, no, like, there were, like, you know, shots going off. But, mm-hmm. like, one guy was just, like, standing up, messing around. And he was like, hey, like, sit down. And then he got shot through the head. Yeah. And he's, so, like, he that, like, haunts him a little bit. But this is really interesting. They introduced Thomas Wayne right away. Um, so I think, I mean, pretty much confirmed it's, like, set in its own reality. Yeah. So, like, Batman probably, you know, becomes Batman in, like, the late 80s or something. Right. But, like, they just introduced Martha Kane. Okay. He, he did a job for her. Nice. Um, so maybe they'll, like, end up together yeah. by the end of the season or something. It's only, like, ten episodes. I don't know how long the series is going to go. Um, what is it on? What network? It's on Epics, but uh, I have my friend's Amazon Prime account. And I'm able to watch it for free. No, he doesn't. I don't. <laughs> There's no sharing of accounts for people. Uh, no, I, I mean, I don't. Why? You went over saying? to his house and watched it, right? Who yeah, I have friends that go over to their houses. Yeah. Um, I don't have friends. <laughs> I don't have houses. Wait, what? <laughs> I have family. I have family. Um, oh, yeah, speaking of that, Hobbs and Shaw, great movie. Um, what were you talking about? Oh, Pennyworth. Pennyworth. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's on Epics. I think you can watch it for uh, for free on Amazon Prime. Um, there's like four episodes out right now. Sweet. Um, there, there's interesting stories. I mean, they've got like, I can't remember like any of their names cause they all like run together, but, um, Thomas Wayne's in it though. Well, yeah, Thomas Wayne, he's in the first episode. Then Martha Kane just came into this, uh, like the third one and that's Martha Wayne in the future. Oh, <laughs> that's why I said they'll probably get together. This kind of fits the Keaton storyline about becoming Batman in the 80s because this takes place in the 40s, 50s. Yeah, but like, again. I mean, obviously, it's his own thing. I'm, yeah. I'm not yeah. Just saying it's, it's connected, but. Well, and also, this is like a more badass Alfred than what's his name? The old from like, the. Oh, yeah, of course. Michael Go. Yeah. Who's, yeah. I'll cancel the pizza, sir. So. Like, I couldn't imagine this Alfred going on to But be how did Alfred. he cancel the pizzas? That shot the, the pizza right guy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Sniped him from. <laughs> pizzas canceled. <laughs> Um, no, it's it's. I want to see those deleted scenes. That's yeah, what yeah. I want to see. <laughs> uh, no, it's really interesting though. I think it's um, it's just a weird move to happen on have it on Epics because like, it just seems like it's the only like network network that would have picked it up. But um, I don't know. I mean, it could be like Supergirl where it goes to like Amazon next year or something because they they like their f words in it. Oh, um, there's boobies. I think there's nudity. Uh, I mean, yeah, so they get away with a lot, which yeah. is interesting for a DC product, but like, whatever it's, so, it's, it's good. It's a, it's, it's worth a watch. I think I know you're saying that a lot of people, there's a lot of mystery about Al- Alfred's past. Is it, has it only been like the last 20 years they've explored that? Um, or was it always a mystery? Cause you know, he was more like a Butler Butler back in the day. Right. I would say it's probably more of a modern era comics. Right. But it's like a 20 year old um, idea, right? I mean, yeah, I would say 20, maybe even 30 nowadays. Oh, okay. But I mean, because like in the 70s is when things kind of started really mm-hmm. getting right. on the darker side and more of a serious tone. Um, so I, while I'm not sure when they might have introduced that, I mean, it wouldn't have been before that. Sure. No, I think that's really, that's really cool. Yeah. I like that. It looks, it look, yeah, it looks James Bond like. Yeah, way. a little bit. And it's got a really good like opening, like, um, like credits and like mm-hmm. theme and everything. I, sure. I don't, it just, it feels different, and it feels that's what makes it so like fresh. I think as long as they don't bring Batman in some, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here's a picture of my future son Bruce. <laughs> they dress him as a bat for some reason. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like in uh, oh, Joker's coming out in a few months. Yes, I'm pretty excited for that actually. <sighs> Same here. That looks awesome. Yeah, that will be exciting. You think Thomas Wayne could be Batman in that one? I hope not. It's a, it's its own thing. It's it's no story they're adapting. Uh. Oh. Flash, oh. singing Flashpoint oh. nerds need to get over it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and also, like, they don't do Flashpoint until Bruce dies. So, well, maybe Joker kills him right away. Well, But also, they also probably that, won't do Flashpoint at would all. Would you be upset if they were actually brothers? Thomas and Bruce? <laughs> Bruce and Joker. Oh, I mean, I don't, I don't know why I'd be Thomas upset. Thomas went in an affair with Joker's mom, and basically he's the bastard child, and so... That's, is that, that's a theory. Oh, I didn't know if that was part of the leaked script that's out there. No, I didn't know there was Which a leak. there is a leaked script. But would you be upset if they did that? I mean, it's, it's a it's yeah. a one-off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I would, actually. That'd be pretty dumb. I think that'd be dumb. Oh, Whoa! Shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's how I'm Shit! 
That's an antique shelf. It's been in the family for five years. Um, huh? That's how I feel about this situation right now. Right You're now. upset. Yeah. yeah, I'm upset. I don't want them to be brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Wasn't it funny? Uh, his you name. Hit my trigger point, Josh. <laughs> I know, right? His ah ah. Yeah. <laughs> his name in the movie is Arthur Fleck, so it's <laughs> Affleck. Yeah. Oh, oh, never even thought of that connection. Mm, it's nice. kind of funny. Yeah, that uh, that'll be interesting. Yeah, I'll be, be for it. <laughs> Whoa! Don't don't Whoa. don't spew it out of your nose. <laughs> you still thinking of the deep throat thing? No. <laughs> Are you thinking about when you kicked the yeah. shell? <laughs> <laughs> when she started vandalizing all the equipment. Joker and and Thomas are brothers. Gah! So, Joe, can you tell us about Hobbs and Shaw? It's a movie. Yes. It's pretty good. You like it? Yeah, you're, actually. You're not upset I, about it like Tyrese is? <laughs> no. He needs to shut his mouth. He's like the most expendable one of the crew. <laughs> like, uh, I've, do you watch any of the Fast and Furious? So, I just started that franchise. Okay. Oh, it's going to change okay, so much. Okay, so it changes a lot. Here's okay. the thing. Oh, my God. Here's, here's, here's the thing. I love that mo- those movies because I don't go into it expecting a lot of realism or a lot of like, you know really good storytelling yeah. i'm like give me that stupid ridiculous action because right. i don't know cartoon-like. i don't know where else to get it yeah and like you're one of your critics one of your critiques for the seventh one was when uh dom did the thing mm-hmm. don't spoil it but it's fine, you can spoil he stomped concrete he stomped place. concrete and the entire parking garage fell apart or something uh, no it wasn't that bad but yeah it was that's what? how jason Statham like got incapacitated um because he couldn't kill him because he needed for hobbs and shaw even though he killed one but of the, their but then close friends, right? But then you were like, uh, "You don't know that yet." But yeah, like, no, then you then you're like, they're like, you know, they're superheroes now, pretty much. I'm like, yeah, but I. After the fourth movie, I was like, "You come to expect this." I mean, is Paul Walker still in them? It's ridiculous, though, right? I mean, yeah, no, it's it's dumb. I mean, like. Have you ever seen the other guys? Yeah. Rob uh, is nice to look at. He is he is very like a good looking, I'll give you that. Certainly. But there's a scene in other guys where like him and Samuel Jackson jump out of that off that building. Yeah. They're like aim for the bushes and they just die. <laughs> I love that. That almost exact same thing happened because like Idris Elba, you know, uh kidnaps Jason Satham's sister and like they're like looking down through like the broken window and uh the rocks is something like, Oh, we can't like take the elevator, it won't it'll take too long, we gotta go now. And then so the they like the rock literally just jumps out the window and like tries to like land on a guy. He does, but it reminded me so much of the other guys where he's like, oh, he's just gonna he's just gonna jump. He yeah. doesn't care. Yeah. And uh, it was just it, it's just ridiculous stuff like that. Um, and the final like 20, 30 minutes when they're on the Isle of Samoa was like actually really cool because you got to see like the culture and like he has like twenty brothers or something like that. And no um, guns. <laughs> one one of them's like Roman Reigns. Oh which yeah. I thought that was gonna be like a bigger thing. He had no lines. Uh, he didn't. He. He didn't really do anything. Probably a good thing. It was like a fighting. <laughs> it was his first movie, yeah. so maybe just like chill out a little yeah. bit. Um, yeah. So like he didn't have any lines. And he just like did a little bit of fighting. Um, but it was still, I I enjoyed it. I thought it was I thought it was pretty good. It cool. was the trailer li- looked cool. Yeah, and it was like a little long. Maybe it was like pushing two twenty. That's crazy Ooh, wow. for that. Really? Yeah, like, but like I don't know. Just make it short and sweet. <laughs> maybe the Jackson cut of <laughs> well, maybe Hobbs and Shaw. Maybe the Rockridge <laughs> wanted to like rub it in Vin's face of like I have the longest, you know, Fast and Furious movie. But Tyrese said the movie flopped. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Tyrese is in the Fast and Furious movies too. He was in the second what one. What else does he do? <laughs> exactly. I was trying to think of it. I was trying to think. Uh, when like I read the story, I was like, "What else are you in?" That's all he's got. Right. Yeah. So like he was like, "Oh." Looks like you can't carry the franchise by yourself, Rock. This movie was a flop. And I don't think The Rock, like, uh, responded because you don't really need to. No. Especially when you're The Rock. It's just like, shut space. up. Yeah. Um, but I was like, hey, <laughs> Tyrese is probably, the, yeah, like I said, he's probably the most, like, easily killable <laughs> of the crew. Yeah. Like, they could kill you off in the next movie and you couldn't do shit about it. And right. then where would you be? And no one would care. You'd just be still talking shit about, like, your co stars or whatever. Yeah, no one, no one would yeah. care because he's really just comedic effect now. Mm-hmm. Like he really doesn't do much. No, he doesn't. So it's changed a lot. Uh, I want to call it a flop. I don't know how well it did. I think it just got released in like China this week, so oh, it's probably... still like doing its international stuff. Yeah, right, Sky Rock. China. Mm-hmm. Steve's holding a globe. There's the rock. You zoom in. There's the rock. There he is. <laughs> he's working out. 
So yeah, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood came out. Tarantino's eighth, ninth, ninth. film, ninth film. Tenth film might be Star Trek. No. It might be. No, it's not going to be. Uh, He's already said it might be a horror movie. Well, I'll say this. Steve, I mean... Star Trek's not going to be part of his ten movie uh Why does series. he have to stop? That's, like, why? He might not. That's just what his plan was. But He set a goal to... from season. He set a five-year plan, but it took him 20 years. I know you're against the Star Trek, and I, I am, but after seeing this film, I didn't think there was, like... I thought his other films had a lot more profanity. Like, I was like, if Star Trek was like this kind of... This one was I could, definitely more mild. Like with the characters I'm this saying. This made tackling. me feel like he has broader range than I thought yes, he had. Yes, yes. This was more of his, one of his more laid back movies. Right. Like yeah. this was like Jackie Brown level of like just, mm-hmm. we're just going to tell a story. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter how like thrilling the story is. We're just going to tell a story. Yeah. And it was brilliant. And mm-hmm. I was not expecting that ending. No. At all. Oh, really? Well, no, before we get into spoilers, didn't. we all liked it, right? Mm-hmm. Go out and see it. I, it went, Spoiler like, alert. Went, it was good. Go. <laughs> but anyway, it went by quick. It was like almost three hours or... Yeah, it went by kind of quick. I mean, I thought it did. Yeah. So, yeah. I think there Go was out and so see much it. going on. Like, he does yeah. a really good job at keeping your attention. Yeah. You really have to watch for things because he's just that type of director mm-hmm. where, like, if you miss it, then you're missing a, a piece of that movie. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Well, I hate in some movies how they'll just, like, rush certain things. This felt like he took his time to really tell... Mm-hmm. Fleshed out the s- yeah. separate stories and like you know the stories when they're together um i don't know i thought it was well great. and a lot of people like so much driving like they're showing off what they did they put a lot of money into bringing yeah they're back gonna to the 60s and... well and if you look at the period too especially the cinema of that period as well mm-hmm. things move at a slower pace yeah. yes you know so it kind of honors that watch too. the first dirty harry movie the first oh two God. or three even of those yeah and you know you've got a lot of dirty or harrier <laughs> You know, it's a lot of scenic yes. padding, yes. so to speak. But I don't well, know. And they comp- they it wasn't a set. They completely redirect or re uh, decorated mm-hmm. the sunset. Yeah, or, mm-hmm. they shut it down. And it's like they're going to chew up that scenery. Yeah, because they spent no a lot of money to do it. it. Like, do but it. I, I want to see it. Worth doing. No, absolutely. Like, really it was beautiful. Like, I yeah. really felt yeah. like we were back in that time yeah. period. Like, even though I wasn't in that time mm-hmm. period, but just the cars, the driving around, like. The music. Also, there were a lot of oh, emphasis on, on cars back then, so yep. it makes a lot, sense. A lot of what? A lot of emphasis on cars back in the day, yeah. so, yeah. I mean, it just, it all made sense. And, like, yeah, people are mad because it, you know, moved too slow. It's like, well. No. Shut up. No, I, I liked it. it. I liked it a lot. So, we'll get into Django spoilers a, so we can It's a hard one totally... to beat, though, because Django was its own separate. Django's I mean, probably my favorite one. Yeah, it's my That's yeah, the ultimate I'm... revenge fantasy movie. Yeah. That was good. That was and this good. had an aspect to it of that, but, you know. Yeah, I mean, if we're going to hit spoilers. Yeah, spoiler um, everybody. I can't believe everybody I, died. I literally <laughs> only have one complaint. That was just the Bruce Lee portrayal. A lot of people mm-hmm. have been thinking that. Yeah. That said, everything beyond that, I just, I can't say enough good things about it. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't enough to, you know, detract me from enjoying the movie at all. Yeah. It was just, yeah, that's not really how he mm-hmm. was. The way I see it, okay. though, it's just like... like... A cocky... Well, and, like, yeah. his family yeah. said, like, he didn't talk like that. He didn't yeah. talk like he did, like, in the movies or, like, you know, some interviews. Where right. He'd, he'd be, like, all stoic or, like, you know, there's one where he's, like, water can flow or yeah. can crash. But it's, like, he didn't talk like that all the time. Right. And that's how they were portraying him. Yeah. Which was a little weird. But just like the ending, it's it's once upon a time. So, it's, to me, it's, like, everybody knows, I, I would hope everyone knows that's, that's not Bruce Lee. It's just, yeah. it's funny just to twist it and, like. Ding! Do a characterization. You thought it was really Bruce Lee? No, I just, the once upon a time and how the whole story played out. Just like the ending. That's why they put the... I just got, I just got the, it just got it. Well, that's why they, you know, because... Well, it's like in Glorious Bastards where they they just kill Hitler. Mm -hmm. Like, that's not how he died. Well, I know that. But we're just going to have fun with it. But the title... Once upon a time in Nazi Germany. No, but now I get the play on the title. Because it didn't show up till the end. Yes. Because it's like, obviously this is a fairy tale because they didn't die. Mm -hmm. Right. And they they killed the people who did the crime, which is a good misdirect. Because I think I was getting really anxious. I'm like, I was was really nervous about seeing all that. You know, especially, you know, they they complain about um, Marvel Robbie not having much lines or whatever. Yeah. But, But she also wasn't like, she was kind of a... Trying to say this as carefully as I can. She was like a side character. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Even yeah. though like the murders were about her. But like and like the so I was saying last night there was these articles coming out calling pretty much saying like, oh, well, he just, you know, 
wanted to profit off the Manson murders. She turned Leo and Brad Pitt into like the white male heroes. I'm like, first of all, she was not a damsel in distress in this movie because she didn't even know about the murders. Yeah. She didn't had no idea what was going I on. I just think like it's a kind jester, you know? Yeah. He saved her. He did what mm-hmm. nobody else could. Yeah. He saved her life. Yeah. I, that's how I took it when I saw the ending. I, it was yeah, a beautiful, beautiful ending. He showed ending. them dying, which I thought that's what was going to happen. So did I. He wrote her the life, you know, that she, she should have had. So had. Yeah. Right. I didn't even know time. she was pregnant uh, when she got murdered. Eight only, months yeah. pregnant. Yeah. Yeah, I really felt like I didn't get that at all. Mm-hmm. Like what people, I really felt like it was a very nice. Mm-hmm. I love the if only piece of it. You know, I mean, yeah. if only that's how. It oh, went Brad down. Pitt, yeah. man! I think he. Do you think he stole the film? I mean, they all did great, but his character has. A I great can see them in. both being up for the Oscar. Like, yeah, it was it was head. phenomenal, and then. What was the nine year old girl? Yeah, she oh, was yeah. too. She's I mean, real. come on, she stole every scene she was into. I mean, yeah, you know, that was really that, awesome. That scene with uh, Luke Perry, where like oh, Leo yeah. has like, what's her name with the gun to her head? Yeah. I forgot I was watching so Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I. I was like, what that, movie is this? Right. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm I was like, there, this it's cool a western scene. right now. Yeah. I was like, it's a scene within a movie. Yeah. I was like, he's acting. Phenomenal. It, it is I so. Was, it is so weird. Yeah. He yeah. throws her down, and then afterwards, like, I'm sorry. I just felt like, yeah. Like, oh, I get thrown down all the time. <laughs> right. Like, that was. I. That was probably one of my favorite scenes in the movie because he would. I mean, it was like so not years only ago. Was he acting amazingly in that scene, but he's also acting. He's at. He's. He's. <laughs> yeah. An actor playing an actor yeah. being a person. Mm-hmm. It, what about the it was big, like Tropic Thunder? <laughs> yeah. What about the big takes and he screws up. Yeah, and then embarrass yourself they, in front of those re- goddamn people. And then they rewind the camera. You know, he's like, "We do that again." Mm-hmm. And yeah. like, mm-hmm. Oh, and Timothy Oliphant, he was he was really good too. Yeah, yeah, he was good. And then uh, that was interesting. About a lot of people were like, "I don't know." I got confused when they put him in the um, uh, the Great Escape. Yeah, but to me, it was like he was fantasizing, like, "Oh, if if I was in this film, right, you know, this would have been it." And I thought it was just like another alternate history thing, like, "Oh yeah, he was." Because I mean, Rick Dalton's just based on. Um, he, I think Quentin Tarantino said like George Maharis and a couple of those yeah, like like big a blend name. of yeah. yeah I think Burt Reynolds too actually there's a scene in the FBI that was Burt Reynolds originally mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. that Burt was Reynolds, really, that was a cool scene where they yeah. were like uh, mystery science theater right like, yeah um, exactly that show I was like this is cool like I just it this is why it just feels like a chill movie right yeah. well Burt Reynolds was going to be and he did the uh, mm-hmm. table read and he was going to play Bruce Stern's part yeah. um, the owner of the um, Spawn Ranch. Right. Oh, okay. George right. Spawn. Yep. If anything, this film, it makes me interested in knowing the time period more and uh, what went down. Like, I did actually listen to what actually happened, and it's it's terrible. But right. uh, this movie... And they got it accurate that George Spawn did let them stay at the ranch yes. mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. sex and things of that right. nature. Right. I mean, none of that stuff was... There was a lot of historical accuracy and a lot of, of course, you mm-hmm. know, um, fun mm-hmm. uh, with the history, but... Yeah. I was listening to, like... Uh, some podcast, I think it was like um, Funhouse, that mm-hmm. YouTube channel. They were talking about like Charles Manson. They're like, man, he had like all the right ideas. He convinced like a bunch of women <laughs> just to do drugs and have sex <laughs> and not shower. And then he came up with the there, and he came Charlie. up with the murder. I know. And he's like, ah, oh, he ruined it. Race war. He thought there was going to be a race yep. war, mm-hmm. and he wanted to ignite that. So, yeah, what, yeah. what about Charles Manson himself? Do Do you think that was wasted, or they could have done more? I don't know. I think okay. I, very quick. <laughs> it was quick. I think a couple things. I thought he was going to be in it more. I thought I, th- I thought like he was going to be killed, yeah. just like a la Hitler. That would have been cool. And then, um, but I think it was good because he didn't shed too much. He didn't give Charles Manson too much screen time, mm. which was nice. Because if you think about it, he was just the architect behind most of this. He wasn't yeah. really involved, so right. why would he be right. in it? Tarantino was right. just like fuck Charles Manson. I don't want to show too much of him. Yeah. yeah. And then Uma Thurma's daughter was in it, which took My me Hawk. a minute. Well, so East, really- Stranger Hawk Things. Too. Stranger oh, yeah. Things. She had a great breakout mm-hmm. role in that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that was great. She just sped off, which the actual person in real life wanted to or something. Yeah. So it's kind of like, it's a what if for everybody, mm-hmm. basically. The um, I don't, the the Manson family girl that like was attracted to Brad Pitt. And, yeah. yeah. That's Annie McDowell's daughter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was pretty cool, too. She's been in a couple. She was in uh, The Leftovers. Yeah. Have you ever seen that? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good show. Which is really interesting because he cast like celebrities, siblings, not on, or not yeah. children, uh, not on, I don't know if on purpose, but mm-hmm. Harley Quinn Smith's in this, yeah. Kevin mm-hmm. Smith's daughter. I don't think she had a line, though. They just sang in the beginning. Yeah. And she might have said a few things, but it was really brief. But I was like, know, all these, I, I didn't like, expect- these women look like they stink. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> they do. Well, hippies. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. They really capture that. Damn hippies. Yeah, yeah. damn hippies. Get off my not. But back to your original comment where you asked if you thought Brad Pitt stole it, and I didn't get to add my commentary to it. Oh. But I was just going to say, I, I feel like that, that, I mean, he had that, he stole the, yeah. the whole thing. Well, yeah. like, it's just, it's just brave also to use, like, like the whole driving to his place, you know, like I like stuff like that. I think mm-hmm. I like that as I get older. Cause yeah. I think right now we get so much fast paced stuff. It's yeah. nice to just slow down mm-hmm. and kind of just admire well, the That scenery. gave him a chance to like, you know, Have play. Have the- and Leo ever worked together before? No. Well, oh. they were on the same show, not at the same time. Growing Pains. Uh, Brad Pitt had an arc on that show and then. Um, so really no. No. <laughs> and I, that's only important to same me show, when though, actors but, yeah. work together for the first time and they're not. Yeah. Because kind of, you, now you're getting into that age group where a lot of these actors are kind of keeping mm-hmm. the same people around. Well, they're such big name actors. Yeah. It's, like, it's surprising yeah. that they haven't worked so together So to see before. if they have chemistry. And I thought they did really well oh, together man. for being both killed huge it. A-list actors. It's like they've been yeah. friends for years. Totally killed I love it. Brad Pitt's character. The, the only time I was like, oh, I don't know. It was the boat scene where he killed his wife and they never show it. But he has yeah. a spear gun and it's like. You think you really did it? Was it an accident or, or like yeah. did he hit it? Because there was that thing about it, like a big wave was coming or something. I was yeah. like, they probably just hit it. He's like, oh. A lot of people are saying, um, oops, that was his. Uh, Caught a whale. You know, he, he actually uh, redeemed himself at the end for, because mm-hmm. how brutally he yeah. beat them up is like, maybe he is capable of murder. Right. <laughs> of course, he had an acid cigarette, which also made me think <laughs> by smoking that, did he imagine things differently? Therefore, oh. it put a filter over. The upcoming events, but I love when Leo came out after making margaritas. He's like, "Get this damn piece of shit out of here!" Oh, it was so hilarious, and they just backed down. Yeah, like, oh, it was hilarious. Yeah, I just, I loved, I just, I love the Tarantino puts you there. You know, just like to have a dashery, like you just feel like yeah. you're in, yeah. this, like the snow in that in Hateful Eight. Like yeah. you feel like you're in the storm, and you're almost like. Cold. Well, I just said every scene he does, you feel like you're standing there at the edge of the scene, just mm-hmm. watching it play mm-hmm. out. You know. Yeah. You so don't that, feel like you're in the theater. The scene where like uh, he beats up Bruce Lee and like you know the whole Kurt Russell and then um, I left my ass off though when he got thrown into the car. Oh, that was Sorry. that was hilarious. Dude, I that, mean, it was yeah. bad. It was bad, but like, <laughs> um, that's my car. Well, and it was it was Kurt Russell and then he was married to Uma Thurman's uh, stunt yes. double. What's her name? Uh, Renee or no? Uh, uh, Zoe. Yeah, Zoe something. Uh, but she's Bell. been like, Zoe yeah, Bell. she's been with her in stunt person since I think Kill Bill. Yeah, mm. and she was in um, Death Proof. She was in Death Proof. Russell was into. Yeah. Well, they're both stunt people. Are they the parents of stuntman Mike from Death Proof? I don't know. That's because he's Kurt Russell. I mean, oh, that's crazy. His son could just look like him. I don't know. That'd yeah. be cool. Because Quinn's world is connected in a yeah. way. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you saw the red uh, red apple cigarettes at the end of. <laughs> The movie. <laughs> and then they cut. He's like, piece of yeah. shit. I'd like to be in his brain. And he's like, why'd you choose this picture? No, it's you might not. see a lot of feet. Because he does all his own writing, too, right? Yeah. Like, well, I wouldn't say yeah. all of it. He's but very talented. A lot of it, yeah. Just I mean, like, he rewrote Hateful Eight after the script, first script oh, got leaked. Oh, he did? I didn't know that. Well, yeah, I mean, this first script got leaked. I know it did, but he, had he to re- did a, a, redo he did the a live event reading, mm-hmm. I think, because he was like, I'm not going to do it. So I didn't know he actually rewrote. If you go into his brain, you'll see a lot of feet, though. Do yeah. you have a feet fetish? Yes, you or see foot it. Fetish? Yeah, you see it in oh, the movies. It's that's disgusting. I mean, there are worse fetishes to have, I guess. Yeah. I don't. Like I'm not saying it's great. It, they're just worse things to like. <laughs> like you could be a brony, I don't and like I'd be like, I don't want to watch your movies. Or a furry, or, or a furry, movie. yeah, or both. Yeah. Uh, yeah the, the I low... could have done without that info. Don't ruin this for me. <laughs> I was <laughs> glad though. I was I was afraid he was going to turn. Uh, Brad Pitt's character like, oh. the scene where he goes to the ranch so I'm, like, I. I'm like oh he's gonna be like yeah. I, my career's over mm-hmm. uh, yeah I'm sorry I gotta do this and then the time jump at the end I didn't see that coming oh, yeah, was it like six a, month yeah, time six jump months. Mm-hmm. he's married now uh, mm-hmm. Leo and then they're having their last night because they have to go their separate ways but mm-hmm. that was cool to do the Italian yeah. movies which mm-hmm. Al, Al Pacino's character was uh, the agent or something right. to get him into. Uh, so he basically did the Clint Eastwood career right. in a way. Mm-hmm. Um, also, did we say how like this seemed like the least like hyper sexualized of Tarantino's movies? Mm-hmm. Like yeah. there's almost like no like nudity or there's like there's like sexual talk here and there, but that was like mostly from the hippies, right? Yeah, and I was like, this is just like a you know, it's yeah. like he really toned down the whole like 
I don't know. That's what makes me think he could do a Star Trek. Honestly, I think mm-hmm. he could. Yeah, like I said, I was before this movie, I I really wasn't confident in the range. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I saw this and I just you know, I was blown away. But if he's if he took this story into the '60s, back to the '60s, the art design and all that, imagine what you do with Star Trek. Like he would totally, I think, redo all the look to the original aesthetic. And he even said. This whole JJ thing, he's like, I don't like it. Yeah. So he, he and JJ will not tell him no. Yeah. He's Quentin Tarantino. Like he's yeah. a director you will not say no to. So after seeing this film, I had I was more, more like Quentin Tarantino. Yes. Heck yeah, money, money. <laughs> well done. But no, it just I felt like he could he could pull that off. I had my doubts, and I was like, I can see him doing it. And yeah, he'll have language in it, but it's like okay, that's fine. Well, I hope he doesn't because I don't want that to be his last film because I'm not a. Trick. It's not going to be his last film. Okay. He's already talking about it could be, he said it's going to feel like an epilogue. Mm-hmm. So I doubt he's going to go off, go out on Star Trek. No, no offense to Star Trek, but just no, like, I know. I feel like he wants, if, if he's going to do a 10th one, I think, and I think he feels the same way that it should be like an original, mm-hmm. but he's teased that it could be noir and it could be, um, uh, either, either noir or, uh, uh, horror. Yeah. So he did direct a scene in Sin City, like a lot of directors did, I think, yeah. but like if he ever did something like that. Like, he mm-hmm. can really adapt to, like, comic or He's something. He's pretty good at horror, because I saw Hostile. Hostile. Well, he don't, I don't think he directed that, though. No. Uh, did he write it, though? Produced it. Produced it? I don't it? know if he wrote it, but okay. he produced well, it. He produces a lot. That was pretty good. From Dust Till Dawn, he produced that. If you would rank all those films, what would you put this at? Ooh, you know... I, <sighs> I still haven't thought about it. I, I was going to, yeah, like, put it... that's a tough question. Yeah. Like... We'll have to answer that one next time. They've yeah, changed, that, that's I mean, our homework for next year yeah. or next next year. Next year, <laughs> next year, next, next time, time I'm on. Next time I'm on. Yeah. Look, we just negotiated the contracts. We'll see you in 2020, fine. baby. Yep. We're fine. Yeah, I, I was really happy. I almost want to see it again. Yeah, I um, do too. Because I know I'm definitely going to buy it. Oh yeah. Do we know if it's an IMAX at all? It uh, probably was I don't a know. Shot with IMAX. He's all film based. Right. Yeah. Like, he's not I don't know. Do that. I don't know. Well, yeah. Hobbs and Shaw is probably taking over IMAX right now. Also, uh, speaking of driving kids off at the pool, Ron Burgundy was on uh, every single late night show on Thursday yeah, night. Yeah, really. He was on? doing like stand up. It was just, I was just a bit. He was like promoting yeah, his podcast. Nice. But there's one, there's one show I can't remember. He was doing like prop comedy, and he was like, um, sometimes when I uh, next time I uh, drop my kids off at the pool, I want to ride in style. And he brought out is a toilet seat connected to a Mercedes uh, steering wheel. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, because him and Adam McKay are. They're no longer partners, so... Oh, they broke up. They did? You didn't know that? No, I don't yeah. care. It's fine. That'd be interesting. You I'm don't sure. like who? I said I don't care. Oh, I think also watched like Holmes and Watson yesterday. Oh, how'd you watch that? Ugh. It was on Stars, so... I want to see it, but I don't want to be Very bad. It. Very bad movie. Why did they do that? It was awful. What a waste. It was really awful. Ugh. It was... Ugh. Well, there's your review on Holmes and Watson. Well, and there's like a... The end, they like save the Titanic from being blown up. What and blown like, up? Yeah. So like they're, they're in London first. Yeah. And like before it's like about to set sail, and then at the very end, um, they're like at the on the docks or whatever, and he just goes, "Watson, look, it's Billy Zane," and Billy Zane's just there. Like he's not even a character of the what's his name from Titanic. He was just Billy Zane. I was like, uh, this is what the fuck weird. And like Hugh Hugh Laurie was in it. Why did they do that? Yeah, I don't know. It was, just, it was a weird weird choice. Ugh. But then I watched Pleasantville. That was a good movie. <laughs> that's an old, old school. 98, 97. All right. Well, I think that's all we got today. <laughs> that's it. Megan's got to let the dog out. So we know that answer, that question, of the song from 99. Meg, Meg, Meg. That song's about ugly girls. Hey. Whoa. That's not even, hey. that's not even a, I'm that's Josh. not even a me thing. I'm Steve. They said years ago that that song's about ugly girls in the club. I'm Joey. Have a good night. <laughs> <laughs> Take care.